Hello everyone. This is Squan Jaisima, a friend, philosopher, guide, mentor, a fellow traveler in this beautiful journey called life. Welcoming all of you to another podcast on celebrating life. Today we are going to talk about spirituality, whether God is there or not there. The biggest controversy ever. Some people they believe in God, some people they don't. So you have different religions to practice whether you are a Hindu or Christian or you are no ardent follower of Islam or you are Buddhist or you follow Jainism or you are a Sikh doesn't really matter paths may be different but the final destination is only one so the god is only one many people ask have you seen god how can you say something which you have not seen exist a good question even i too thought about it many times air as such you can't see but you can feel that in a balloon right and you know that air exist so a person with lower intelligence very difficult for us to judge a person with a higher intelligence if there is a painting there must be a painter if there is a statue there must be a sculptor if there is a song there must be a singer if there is a book there must be an author if there is a speaker speech there must be a speaker if there is a movie there must be a movie maker similarly if there is a world there must be a creator so which name you call we really don't know but the very fact that there is something beyond us something our normal intelligence cannot understand that will make you humble and you will have your feet on ground else human beings by virtue of their knowledge wisdom ego they think aham brahmasmi means i am the god i am the ultimate but the point here is even the biggest scientist at nasa even sri hari kota i have seen the scientist before launching the rocket into the space they take that specimen of the rocket and go to tirupati balaji temple or go to some said church and pray means people who believe in that atoms protons neutrons the science how the universe has evolved even they believe that there is something beyond them i believe once isaac newton was traveling in a train and he was reading a bible a fellow traveler who was sitting opposite him in the train looked at him and said what you are reading bible is it yes in this 21st century when the science and technology is so much evolved you still believe in god have been introduced to more, so many scientists and they will tell you that god is not there so he kept on talking einstein kept on nodding when finally the destination had come as einstein was carrying down so the traveler asked him what is your name give me a card so next time i meet a scientist i will you know take you to that person and he will tell you god is not there so einstein pulled out his visiting card and said i am the okay albert einstein and the guy was shell shocked in the sense even abdul kalam too believed in god so there is something beyond us and most thing is many people ask why if god is there why bad things happen to me why i go through troubles and turmoils imagine you have a kid at home one year or a half year and you take that kid to the doctor for you know polio injection or some no injection that measles injection when the baby looks at the injection it starts crying but if you leave this baby no as a parent you hold the baby tight and make sure that the baby you know gets done the in- injection and the baby will go through the pain for that instant he will even start beating the mother or father but you know that the pain is only temporary if the baby doesn't take that injection in future it will suffer for the benefit of the baby you have to do because you have higher intelligence you understand baby is so small less it less it doesn't understand so we too are like the small babies we don't know why we are going through troubles 
but god knows maybe it is the small injection small pain that god is giving us so that we don't face problems in the future when things happen as per your plan be happy you are right when things don't happen the way you planned be happy because they are happening as per god's plan and god is always correct if you understand this philosophy then there is no problem at all but people okay they ask then why should i go to church why should i go to temple why should i go to mosque god is everywhere why should i go there is a symbolic representation air is there everywhere but to feel it you need to feel that in a balloon or in a tire like that in the form of an idol okay and whatever you believe in a place of worship you go there and that's where your heart your mind your body will be in sync in praying to that god but how does a god happen okay how does a god look <laughs> this is a small story that i remember once a guy who was a great follower or devotee of a god was living in a village floods came to that village and everybody was evacuating from that village people came and told come 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 the floods are going to increase you need to vacate come with us now we got that okay vehicle we are going to take you that car is there that guy said do you people don't believe in god you require a car don't worry i trust god and okay i pray god he will come to rescue me those people left after some time water has come up so one boat had come there and those people in the boat they said look everybody vacated now this is the last boat leaving this place if you don't come you will die please come with us let us leave this village that guy looked at them and laughed and said you people don't believe in god so that's why you're going by boat but god will rescue me so even that boat went so on the water level increased this guy went and sat on top of the rooftop and uh, the water level started increasing further and suddenly one helicopter had come so the pilot dropped in a ladder and said come pick up this you no know, hold on to this ladder come come with us this is the last helicopter else he will die so this guy looked at the pilot and said you people don't believe in god so you require a car or a boat or a helicopter i really believe in god now he will come and take me helicopter left soon the floods had come and this guy died so when he went to god see he was very furious he asked god i used to pray to you okay every day and you never didn't come to rescue me god looked at him and smiled <laughs> who do you think the guy was who came and asked you to come by car it was me who do you think the guy was in the boat asked you to get into the boat it was me who do you think the guy was flying that helicopter it was me so god doesn't come with one you know crown and you know has got a lot of weapons and in a dress god comes in another format so god is there in every person if you can look into that person that's it now there is one more person who is to pray god and uh, finally he died and he went to god and god and that person were walking on the sea shore and as they were walking they saw four prints of footsteps okay and god said look this is your life path life journey and i was always with you walking okay is that's why two are my footprints and two are your footprints the guy looked at the whole journey and saw that some places is a four footprints only two were there when he introspected he found out that those were those moments of his life where he went through the most difficult times of his life he was through the hardships he was in agony he was in stress he was going through the toughest uh, times of his life and the devotee became angry and looked at the god god when i am happy when i am okay you are always there with me look whenever i was in difficulty you went missing i only see two footsteps where were you the god looked at him and smiled and said look those two footsteps are prints are mine i was carrying you on my shoulder so if you believe in god he won't leave you he's always there with you so for that matter from where does the man take birth no idea when he dies where does he go we have no idea a doctor with that medical science knowledge can only be a maintenance keeper the other day i went to a topmost hospital in hyderabad i saw a small temple 
and as as some doctors before they enter the hospital they prayed and some patient relatives to they praying so they brought the patient to the doctor to the hospital but they still believing that this there could be some miracle is going to happen even the doctors the md the chairperson of that hospital he was praying to the god before he entered so telling that look it's all up to you i can only maintain with your you know wish if god doesn't allow nothing will happen without god's permission an ant won't move even for your finger to move you require god's permission for me to utter a word you need a god's permission for you to listen to one sentence of mine you need god's permission if god says you end here come now with me we need to quit we don't have anything else to say only thing is we want to be part time devotee to the full time god most of us sunday sunday christian friday friday no muslim once in two weeks once in a month you have become a hindu you can't be part time devotee to the full time god so spirituality is not something that you practice when you retire is not something that you practice when you become 78 years old i want to go to himalayas i want to go to varanasi i want to go to tirupati i want to go to sri shailam i want to go to bhadrachalam i want to go to vaishnava temple i want to go to vatican city i want to go to makka it is to be practiced from the day you are born you can be good professional but you can be spiritual in your outlook you can be the best scientist you can be spirit still spiritual in outlook so spirituality is a way of life geeta is not to be played when you die geeta is to be listened and practiced verbatim letter by letter when you are alive the essence of geeta as told by krishna was that but we don't follow in pursuit of this materialistic gains we totally neglect to god okay only thing is many people in the name of religion they try to exploit people that's where people started disbelieving god is always right the problem is with the god's men you need to be really careful about them that's all god never told for that matter no religion ever said that don't tolerate that religion that is good that is bad no religious text will ever tell you that follow the path of violence you have you should have greed selfishness you should exploit people you should tell lies no religion will ever say they always show you the right path of life only thing is we have drawn a small little boundary around us and we start negating other people we don't understand the actual concept of god okay so spirituality is a way of life you should be loyal you should be better in life that's very important for you so understand one thing that there is something beyond you and i that is existing what is it i don't have any idea no one can ever define so the day you you tend to define it no longer becomes god or almighty he becomes like another person you can judge me my capability my potential my speaking skills my output how much i can earn what i can do you can judge a person but not the god there is something beyond us so make it a practice every second every minute always have the tolerance can you look at goodness in other people that is godliness that is the spiritualism so for us it is not to fight in the name of religion but we need to coordinate coexist cooperate and live happily with each other so paths are, are different but finally we all go to the same destination absolutely we know that we are here only for little time we are not there for eternal and god you should not go to god only when you are in trouble or you know turmoil many people when they pass one want to pass an exam they go to god when they lose money okay in stock market in business they go to god when they are going through some health issues they go to god when they have some relationship issues they go to god when you are happy you never think about god imagine people going to the temple or a church early morning at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock with a swollen face and keep begging how angry the god will be i still remember when i was a kid when i was used to get ready for the school some beggar used to come he asked amma give me some food my mother said early morning you came to beg get lost 
ఓకే ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఎర్లీ మార్నింగ్ యూ సీ సమన్ బెకింగ్ యూ హవ్ యాంగ్రీ యూ విల్ బికమ్ కమ్ లిటిల్ లేటర్ సో గాడ్ టూ ఇయర్స్ గాడ్ ఈజ్ ఓన్ ఇష్యూస్ ఈజ్ గాడ్ ఈజ్ ఓన్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఓకే యూ గో అండ్ ఆ సమ్థింగ్ ఎర్లీ మార్నింగ్ హౌ ఎరిటేటెడ్ యూ విల్ బి సో వెన్ యూఆర్ హ్యాపీ యూ షుడ్ గో టు గాడ్ గాడ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ లైక్ యువర్ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ద ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆర్ యువర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ మెజిస్ట్రేట్ యూ నీడ్ టు రైట్ ఈమ్ ఎ లిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ హీ ఈజ్ యువర్ క్రియేటర్ హీ నోస్ వాట్ ప్రామిస్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గో త్రూ he would know he will have a solution to you don't have to tell him that i have got this problem he knows but the only thing is when you are happy when things happen and you are on cloud nine go and thank god god you gave me so much when you are in trouble okay he would know he will take you out of that issues so when it when is the time to go to a god is when you are happy always be thankful that god has given you two hands two legs a thinking brain a body that could function why do you think god will make you to be unhappy imagine your mom and dad if you are hungry you think they will leave you starved and and they will eat on their own first of all they want you to eat they want you to wear a nice new dress best dress you should drive a best vehicle you should live in a good car in a good house they want to go through troubles okay if that is so true for our materialistic physical father mother imagine that you know the big mother big father the universe creator he created all of us where is children you think he will you know tell us to go through agony misery absolutely not whatever he has he must have given to us we don't know how to make use of it if you think god is good his creation can never be bad he has given us a beautiful world for all of us to go and enjoy the sufficient for everyone needs not for everyone's greed that's the only problem a day would come when you quit this world god will ask you i sent you to the heaven how was it you say what you sent me to the heaven yeah the heaven is here right now so the time to be happy is now the place to be happy is here the way to be happy is to make someone happy have a little heaven right here so that's what god has sent all of us so i don't know who you are listening to this podcast but you continue to practice what you believe in but understand that there's a place for every religion for every god and god is only one people have right to practice what they want okay and there is something which is beyond our comprehension just believe that that will make you more docile more humble and i'm telling you you can go through life much more okay you know a successful person and much more sober way hence don't wait till retirement okay to take up your spiritual journey start doing it now at this moment and when you don't have this spiritual path problem so friends we spoke about this six spokes okay physical mental financial family social and spiritual six different angles so how do you measure a balanced life balanced life is like you have a wheel of a bicycle you have six spokes if six spokes are there proper then now the wheel will go correct way on on the road correct if that is the truth then now these are six spokes to our life wheel if all of them are in balance then life will go so you can't be a good husband a bad colleague you can't be more religious but bad business person you can't be very highly intellectual having bad health you can't be having bad family but want to do so much for your society you should learn to balance all your life so sit back today try to introspect all the six aspects are you healthy physically do you invest enough time to read upgrade your skills knowledge do you have enough money to take care of your day to day things do you have a loving family do you contribute something to the society and do you trust in that god almighty do you spend some time with yourself in you know thanking to that unknown universal power if everything is okay means you are successful you are happy anywhere something is not okay then what to do if you think you are lacking in this area you are not okay in this area the spoke is little you know smaller here and now that's where you need to invest your time 
where you invest your time that's where it grows for example my health is not okay i need to spend more time on yoga or some physical exercise i should go to gym my health will improve if i think i don't have money i should go and do some work i'll make money if i think i don't have good social recognition okay you should go and spend some time in community activity if you think that family nobody cares it is time for you to spend some time with your family so understand where do you lack and spend the time there so where you invest your time that's where it goes okay so you need to learn to balance your life and this balanced life is called what satisfactory life that's called what spiritual life that's what is called what beautiful life so and i'm sure you will if you understand these six aspects you will be able to celebrate life okay so thank you so much for being with me we shall meet up in the next podcast with some other topic until then keep smiling keep dancing keep singing keep celebrating this is jaisima signing off from the podcast celebrating life we love you all bye bye thank you so much